Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Dave Four, meteorologist Scott Steely in the Weather Center. Well, it was rough weather last night. Not so much moving forward, though. Looks like we're going to see things calm down in a big way. In your weather headlines, we've got drier days ahead of us. Our temps will take a little more of a tumble before we head to a fine Friday, leading into what should be a pretty nice start of the weekend. Going into the record books on the state, officially at the airport, 74 and 66 Nitschke's, the high and low. Uh, that's pretty close to where we should be, just a little bit below average for the high. 78 and 63 are the averages this time of year, and nowhere near the records. The high temperature record, 98 degrees, set back in 1983, and 50 chilly degrees back in 77. Well, our neighborhood high temperatures were chilly inland, that's for sure. A little more cloud cover there through the day on Wednesday. 69, the high temperature in Beaver Dam, matching the reading in Watertown. Only 67 in Whitewater and 69 in Lake Geneva, where they're cleaning up from the tornado that they suffered uh, during the night last night. 70 is a little more common along the lakeshore communities, where we saw a little more sunshine for longer in the day. Here's a look at future forecast, our computer model. So low pressure at the surface also stacked through the atmosphere, lifting up to our north rather deep. And on the back side of it, more clouds rotating in. The frontal boundary pulling away from us, allowing the cooler temperatures to infiltrate not only southeastern Wisconsin, but really much of the upper Midwest. And as we set this in motion, a little wave of energy could trigger a few showers as we head into the morning hours, early morning hours uh, on Thursday morning. But high pressure overall going to be the dominant feature through the afternoon into tomorrow night and then Friday, bringing bright sunshine back to the area. A little closer in view across southeastern Wisconsin, showing the clouds getting thicker through the night into the morning hours. And then as high pressure builds back in and ushers out the clouds, We'll see clear skies for Thursday night into Friday. Most of the day Friday looking to be beautiful with blue skies. Traveling around the Badger State for tomorrow. Expect to see a sunshine back off to the west and northwest. Again, in the eastern sections of the state on the back edge of that storm system will continue to deal with some cloudiness. And where the sun shines, temperatures will be a little warmer. 74 in La Crosse, 72 in Platteville. A little chillier up to the north. 63 in Green Bay and will be in the middle 60s in some locations around here as well. Your storm team forecast for tonight. We dropped double nickels, mostly cloudy, cool for this time of year. An isolated shower is a possibility overnight into the early morning hours. And then for tomorrow on our Thursday, clouds in the morning giving way to more sun breaking through, at least in the afternoon. Still windy and seasonally cool with our temperatures, if we're lucky, near 70. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast and I do think we get much luckier as we head into Friday. Picture perfect. Plenty of sun. Our temperatures near 80 degrees on Friday. Saturday looks great about 81, a bit breezy and then late Saturday night into Sunday morning, some showers and storms.